Hi, I'm Nancy Zawicki. I'm a registered dietitian with Northwestern Medicine, the West Region. We're here at the Community Kitchen today, and we're doing a class today on cauliflower. So I'll be doing three different recipes. So the first one is a spice grilled chicken with a cauliflower tabbouleh. So I just want to tell you a little bit about cauliflower. It's, high, it's a cruciferous vegetable, so it comes from the family of broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, cabbage. And these vegetables are really high in antioxidants. And research has shown that they contain glucosinolates and they're helpful with reducing risk of cancer. So it is good to eat these cruciferous vegetables. They're low in calories and they're really good roasted. So um, we'll be showing, so today, I'm gonna first start off making a cauliflower rice. So I have this little grater here and I'm just gonna take some raw cauliflower and you know, when you get cauliflower, sometimes you see a little dark mark on it. You can just cut it off easily. Um, that's from oxidation. But if it goes throughout into the stem, then I would just get rid of it. It's been sitting around too long. Um, and you, there's cauliflower that's purple, yellow, green, and then the white cauliflower. It's grown like in summer and goes through early fall. Um, so it's very low in calories. One cup of raw cauliflower is about 25 calories, so very low. People are using cauliflower as a substitution for starches, like recipes that call for rice or potatoes. They're using cauliflower just to, um, and it is a complex carbohydrate, so it takes longer to digest. So I'm just going to go ahead and grate this. So you just keep doing this, and you get it down to just like this little crumbly texture here. So we're going to use it raw. You can use cauliflower raw or cooked. They have, it'll have the same nutritional value. And so for the tabbouleh, we're going to, which is a Middle Eastern type food, very healthy. So we have uh, English cucumber. I love the English cucumber. They're seedless, so you don't have to do much with it. Just go ahead and slice it. And then I'm just going to cube it. And I like to use the skin, too, because it adds some nutritional value. I'm going to do a few more. So we're using all fresh ingredients, which is what we promote here at the kitchen. Um, it's part of the Mediterranean diet or lifestyle, where we're trying to get away from processed foods and try to use all fresh vegetables, fruits, meats to do our cooking. So here's all that English cucumber. We're gonna add some grape tomatoes that are cut up. And then we have some scallions, a little green onion. And we're gonna add some fresh parsley. This is Italian parsley, which I like to use in cooking. The curly parsley is okay too, but I think you get more flavor from the Italian parsley. Um, I mostly just use curly parsley to garnish. <laughs> but, and what's nice about parsley is you can use the stem part too. And, you know, it doesn't take away any of the flavor. And then we're going to take a lime or a lemon, cut it in half, and we're going to squeeze it right in here. It's be part of a, like a dressing. So fresh lemon juice, adding some vitamin C. I'm going to do one more. You put it downward where the holes are so the juice comes out. Looks like it should go the other way, but it's, this is the right way to do it. And then this little cup has some olive oil and cumin in it and some marjoram. And I didn't put any cayenne in, but you certainly can. Um, all right, so we're just gonna mix all that up. Looks really nice, really fresh. You can add black pepper if you'd like to. All right, and now I'm gonna just use the rest of this parsley too. It gives you some nice antioxidants. It's high in um, just all kinds of nutrients. It's really good. And then we've got this chicken here. So the chicken, I um, actually it called to broil it, but I ended up just baking it. I took chicken breast and you brush it with olive oil and use marjoram and cumin um, and allspice and let it bake that way. And now I'm just gonna slice it and we're gonna layer it on top here. And it makes for a nice little salad. So you get several vegetables in here, some very lean meat and very low calorie. So this can be eat at any time. You get a company, you know, some other food if you'd like to. 
Oh, there we go. Let's place that in here. Do one more. And very easy to work with. So with cauliflower, a lot of times people, like I said, are using it in place of rice um, because it's so low calorie. You can make mashed potatoes out of the cauliflower, or sometimes people will combine boiled potatoes with the cauliflower and turn it into a mashed potato, but would have lower calories. Um, so that's nice, and you can add it to macaroni and cheese. All right, so here we go. This is our finished product for the spiced grilled chicken with cauliflower tabbouleh. Hi, we're back and we're doing the second recipe. This is a cumin roasted cauliflower with dates and served with tahini and pine nuts. All right, so what I did to start off with, I took this little floret of cauliflower and you know, you just break it into the florets or you could probably cut it be easier. And just know that the whole piece can be eaten, even the stem. So I um, put them in a bowl and tossed it with a little olive oil and then added some seasonings. So we have cumin um, and then some, so let's see, cumin and turmeric in here. And then majoli dates. So here we go. These were pitted ones. So I was just going to cut them in half and you roast them along with the cauliflower. So I did about 400 degrees, roasted them, and here we have this finished product here. So now what we're going to do is put a little to serve or to plate, we're going to add some tahini. So I was able to get prepared tahini. Tahini is ground up sesame seeds and turned into like, um, like a sauce, but don't use too much because it is high in calories, you know, high in fat content. Um, so it's very creamy and you use this a lot in hummus. So this is like a Middle Eastern type recipe. All right, so we'll just use that amount. I'm just gonna add some flavor. All right, and now we're going to just top it with the cauliflower and the dates. And the dates are gonna give somewhat of a little sweet taste to the cauliflower. When I make a risotto, sometimes I'll do Brussels sprout and cauliflower risotto, add them in. And the cauliflower does have its own natural sweetness, just slight but it's a good combination with Brussels sprouts and cauliflower, or you could do butternut squash that's roasted and add cauliflower to the risotto. It just, it's a really nice balance. So now we're gonna make, um, this is the, well, let me see, this is like um, just a mixture of almond, I use almonds instead of pine nuts, and it's got cilantro and a vinaigrette and um, on, scallions, and we're just gonna top this right on top here. Well, there we go. So this is going to add some antioxidants and um, just makes a nice vegetarian type meal, um, but high in cruciferous vegetables and it's anti-inflammatory. So it is, both of these are Middle Eastern type recipes. And then there's mint in there as well. So I'm just going to add a little bit of mint as a decoration. All right, the third recipe we're doing today is the roasted cauliflower. So this is very, very simple. You're just, again, going to cut up your cauliflower into flowerettes. And I start, I put them in a bowl and just a little drizzle of olive oil and just toss it together. And then I just put it on uh, parchment paper on a rimmed sheet pan. And then I um, topped it with seasoning. So we have coriander, turmeric, um, there was some garlic. Um, and cumin on here and we just roasted it. I just transferred it to a serving plate. And so this is your roasted cauliflower. It almost reminds me of like a cheesy cauliflower, but don't be afraid of turmeric. It doesn't have that strong of a taste and you're getting a lot of anti-inflammatory properties. Um, so just so we talk about anti-inflammatory, we talk about antioxidants. Um, it's all about protecting your immune system. And ways that you can do it, food is very important. To eat healthy, it helps protect the immune system, but also getting a good night's sleep, um, trying to keep stress down, take time for yourself, do things that you enjoy just to kind of de-stress. Um, exercise is very important, staying hydrated, and you know, just staying away from people who are sick can be helpful too. But um, we all need to protect ourselves, and you can do that through a nice balance. Um, they call that like the mind, body, soul. 
but also eating healthy is so important and getting that daily exercise. It helps to relieve stress. So we're gonna just top this roasted cauliflower with um, some parsley. So again, we're using, um, well this one's curly parsley, so we'll use that. I just chop it up real quickly and we're just gonna sprinkle it on. And we're gonna also just top it with a little fresh lemon juice. Alrighty. And then you can just serve this as a side dish with your meal and it's very healthy. Yep. And that's our third recipe. So I'll just leave this right here. It's very, very good. Um, and just so you know, like with cauliflower, when you store it, um, you wanna just put it in the refrigerator. Don't wash it first. Wash your vegetables right before you're going to use them. And you know, I would say, Limit the time, like, you know, if you grocery shop once a week, you know, use the vegetables that might go a little quicker, um, like things that are softer, like cucumber and zucchini. Cauliflower and broccoli can last a little longer, but before I go grocery shopping again, I just kind of survey what vegetables I have in the refrigerator and just either make soup or a stir fry or roast a combination of them, just so that you're not wasting money and, you know, you're utilizing all of them. Um, and just, just so you know, like cauliflower can easily be added to a stir fry. You can, um, you can rice it. You can make it into a burrito or a burrito bowl. Um, throwing into soup or stews is helpful. Um, and you can make like a cheesy cauliflower au gratin if you'd like. But it's a really healthy food and it's low calorie. And so do try to include it into your meals. So you enjoy and thank you so much. Meet Ray. Ray lives on a farm. He loves playing kickball with his grandkids, but lately he's gotten a little slower and been visiting the doctor a lot more often. This is Kim. Kim lives in the city. She loves to exercise, cook healthy meals, and can't remember the last time she called in sick. They're both people, but not all people are the same. And yet, when we visit the doctor, our treatments don't look that different. Why is that? Because we just don't have enough information to do it better until now. Enter all of us. The research program based on precision medicine. Precision medicine is a revolutionary new approach to treating and preventing disease that's personalized instead of one size fits all. By gathering health data from one million people like Ray and Kim and Trevor and Samir, our country's best researchers will be able to develop treatments that are as unique and complex as we are. With this new information, doctors will have a better understanding of disease so they can innovate the next great breakthroughs in medicine. Once enough people join, suddenly everything changes. Information becomes clear, patterns emerge, and simple data transforms into to life-saving knowledge. This means that Ray and Kim's children and their children's children can live longer, healthier lives. By becoming one of the first one million people to volunteer, you can help reshape the entire future of healthcare for generations to come. If we can figure out how to fly, put a man on the moon, and connect the entire world, Surely we should be able to improve the future of healthcare, not just for Ray and Kim or even you, but for all of us. Sign up at joinallofus.org. The future of health begins with you.